thinking and feeling regarding yourself for this talk. Vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. This section is ready for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. So uh, just click in the description bar below, see where it's a start reading, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around it sometimes. You know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. Especially in these cards. That slipping out way around. There we go. All right. And see you and take these in, and I'll be right. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, if this isn't your story, you can feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right. So this is an interesting one um, because we got, we got, we got the honeymoon, honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So sometimes that means that you're in the mix of that honeymoon period, but also sometimes that's a reflection of kind of coming out of that honeymoon period. And I feel like it's a definitely, a, it's definitely a, a, a thing of, okay, so let's start here. For you, it's like you're, you've, you've started to see things about this person that you hadn't seen before. It's like, you know, when you freshly started to date someone or you, you freshly starting to get to know someone you tend to focus on all their likes they you know show up as their representatives most of the time um, but not only that we tend to focus on what we like and enjoy about this person or the person that we're speaking with mm-hmm. you're starting to see or you were starting to see things that you hadn't seen before and that was kind of taking you a bit of time where your focus was on processing that information because it's kind of you know it's like seeing things that are slightly disappointing with the four of cups there. Um, yeah, we've got the two of cups, which talks about emotional connection, but I feel like it's processing whether you actually have that emotional connection with this person. Now, there could be chemistry, which we'll get into in a minute, which um, is up here, but it's like, do you have a deep emotional connection with this person? So that you've definitely been with each other for a while. Hence the moving away or coming out of this honeymoon period. But you're wanting things to turn around, wanting things to kind of go back to how it was. I mean, can it go back to how it was? Absolutely not. In the sense of you're getting to know someone and you're wanting to know more about them. And sometimes that wanting to know more about at the beginning is not really, you know, um, pleasant, let's say that. Pleasant. And that's what's kind of going on. You're starting to see things that you didn't really appreciate. They're seeing you as someone that they're in a relationship with, that they're working on a relationship with. In fact, they've decided on you. They've decided on having that ten of pentacles with you. As much as there is a bit of confusion for them, or was confusion for them at some point, it's like I'm still willing to move ahead with this and see where this, not even so much see where where it leads, because it's not so much see where it leads, it's to walk towards that ninth cup, which talks about happiness. It's like, okay, we're not, I'm not entirely happy with this situation emotionally. They don't tick all the boxes, but I'm still willing to be in this relationship. I'm still willing to, um, I don't, it's, it's not see where it goes because it's not even that. I don't want to say that. I'm still willing to participate. I'm still willing to be in this relationship. God, the participation sounds off as well, but still willing to be in this relationship. Um, yeah, we've got that six of cups. So definitely time has passed in order for you guys to get to know each other. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. This person is still 
kind of continuing to work on this relationship or operate like they are in a relationship and not to say that you're not you are you're just hiding certain things at the moment like I said this realization or this rev revelation is it even a revelation it's this I'm starting to see things that I don't really like you know I'm starting to see things that I don't really like I don't really appreciate that we've got the ace of swords here twice and then we've got that page of swords which talks about epiphany realization so yeah I mentioned chemistry earlier now there's chemistry there but is that enough to sustain this relationship and that's what you're starting to ask yourself that's what you're starting to realize you know, going back to, to this, it's like, okay, do, are we complementary when it comes to this? Are we complementary when it comes to that? Yes, we know that we're complementary and we work well and we connect and we are in alignment when it comes to this, but what about this, 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 this? And with that causes you to kind of pull back emotionally, if that's even possible. But really, when I say pull back emotionally, I'm talking about Trying to not run away with your emotions, more so process and balance them when it comes to this person because of what you're starting to see. Like I said, with this person, they're not, you know, it's not to say they're not seeing certain things too, but it's not rattling them. They're, they're willing to continue with this. There is worry around this for them. I'm not sure whether you've communicated. I don't think you have though, but I feel like this person is maybe picking up on something here we've got the high priestess card there but also that's representing them just kind of thinking that this is right it's like yeah it's not perfect but I, it just it just feels right for me it feels right for me there are aspects of you aspects of this relationship that add to my life that add value with that sun card there but there is this worry around this which has left them in this confusion it's like they're not sure what to feel. Is this going to come crashing down? Are you going to decide that you no longer want to continue within this relationship? There's that around this uh, for them. So like I said, honeymoon. We've passed the stages of, you know, usually it happens within the first six months, isn't it? Where you're just in la la. And then once that six months with the, after the honeymoon period, you start to see cracks and start to see things that you don't like about each other the trick really is is to not focus on them to and when I say not focus on them meaning once you start to it's about building the momentum in a particular area so for instance if you start to see someone in a certain light and you tend to only focus on that then that's what that's that's what you're going to see mainly about this person or mainly about that person it's about coming to some form of understanding that no one's perfect everyone's multifaceted to a degree and, you know, what parts do I appreciate? Yes, they're not perfect there or there, but they're perfect here and I love them there and I'm not to have that balance because if you tend to focus on what's not right or what's not, you feel's not working or that you don't like, um, then that's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. And then that's when the trouble starts. <laughs> that's when the trouble starts. So you've got thinking, some thinking to do, um, Taurus. It's really up to you, isn't it? It's really deciding how much do you guys complement each other outside of this strong chemistry that you have when it comes to maybe the physical aspect of this connection, of this relationship. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, it's a weekly singles and love read ends. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.